Hello everybody. Welcome to Storytime from the Milledgeville Public Library of Illinois. The story we have for you today comes from, well, I'm not really sure where, but I think probably Europe. And it's about a little girl who learned that it's not okay to just do whatever you want and that you always need to be polite. This is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once, not so long ago and not so very far away, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. Now, she had a different name, but nobody could remember what it was anymore. They all just called her Goldilocks because her hair, her locks of hair, were a very, very pretty golden color. They were very yellow and curly and very pretty. And so everybody just called her Goldilocks. Now Goldilocks used to get up in the morning and she would go out into the woods near her house and she would explore the woods until her mother called her for breakfast. And then she would come in and she would eat her breakfast. And then when she was done with her breakfast, she would go out and explore the woods some more. Well, this particular morning, Goldilocks got up and she went out to explore the woods. And this time, she went a little further than she was supposed to. Her mother had told her to always make sure that she could see the house from where she was in her exploring. But this time, she saw something interesting a little further into the woods and she decided that it was okay if she went and explored that because she could always find her way back. Of course, it's not always easy to find your way back when you get into the woods and you can't see your house anymore. And so after a little while, Goldilocks was a little bit lost. Not too bad. She thought if she could just find the stream that came out of the forest near her house, she'd be able to get out of the forest. And so she kept walking and exploring and following the pretty birds and the butterflies and the squirrels. But after a while, she began to feel that maybe, maybe, just maybe, it should be time for breakfast. And she was getting very hungry. But of course, she had gone so far into the woods that she couldn't hear her mother calling her for breakfast. <clears throat> and so she kept walking. And after a little while, she smelled something. Oh, it smelled delicious. And so she followed the smell. And pretty soon she came out of the woods into a little clearing. And there was a house there. And even though there was a little path leading out of the, away from the house back into the woods that would probably take her out of the woods, she decided that she was so hungry that instead of following the path and going home for her own breakfast, she was going to knock on the door of this house and ask if the people inside would share some of their delicious smelling breakfast with her. And so she did. She went up and she knocked on the door and nobody answered. And she knocked on the door again and nobody answered. And so Goldilocks did something that we should never do but that she decided was a good idea. She opened the door and much to her surprise, the door was unlocked. And so when she turned the handle, it opened and she went into the house, which is not a good idea to do. That's not very nice, but she did it anyway because she was so hungry and she was so sure that the people in the house would help, would, 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 would give her some of their breakfast. They would share her breakfast, their breakfast with her. But when she went into the house, she quickly realized there was nobody home. So she started looking around for the source of the delicious smell. Now, while she's looking around for the source of the smell, I'm going to tell you who the house belonged to. For you see, this particular house belonged to a family of bears, Papa Bear and Mama Bear and their cub, they called him Baby Bear. Now he wasn't really a baby, he was growing up, but they still called him Baby Bear. Well, that morning, Mama Bear had made porridge for breakfast. 
But when the porridge was done and she put it into the bowls and each one of them had added just the things they liked to eat in their porridge, they tried to eat it and they discovered it was way too hot to eat. And so they decided to go out for a little walk to see if the berries were ripening in the next clearing over before they had their porridge and it would be cooled off by the time they got back. So while they were gone, that was when Goldilocks came to the house. And now we'll go back to Goldilocks. You see, she had been exploring the house and she had found the kitchen with the table in it, with the bowls of porridge on it. And she decided that the people who lived here, whoever they were, would be kind enough to share their breakfast with her, even if she hadn't asked them yet. And so she decided to climb up and taste some of that delicious breakfast. Well, she climbed up onto the biggest chair and she found a big bowl of porridge. And she picked up the spoon and she tried some of the porridge. Oh, oh, oh no, that porridge was far too hot. And so she climbed down off of that chair and she climbed onto the next chair, a medium-sized chair, and she found a medium-sized bowl of porridge. And she ticked up the spoon and she took a bite of that porridge. And, oh, oh, that porridge was far too cold. Goldilocks did not like her porridge cold. And so she climbed down off of that chair and she climbed into another smaller chair. And what she found near that smaller chair was a small size bowl of porridge. And when she picked up the spoon and tried that porridge, she found that it was just right, not too hot not too cold, and it tasted delicious. And so Goldilocks, without thinking about it, ate the whole bowl, all of it, all gone. Well, after she had been walking for so very long, her legs were now very tired, and she had just eaten a lot of porridge. And so she decided that she was going to go into the living room where she had seen some chairs and she was going to sit on one of the chairs and rest for a few minutes before she went home because she was sure that the people who lived here would let her rest in one of their chairs before she went home. <clears throat> so she went into the living room. Now there were three chairs sitting in the living room and so Goldilocks climbed up into the biggest chair, but it was, it was very uncomfortable. It was, it was very hard, a little bit lumpy. And she just didn't, she just didn't like it. It was, it was very high off the ground too. She just didn't like it. So she climbed down. She decided that chair was far too big and too hard. And so she went to the medium sized chair and she climbed up in the medium sized chair. And well, it was not too far off the ground, but it was a very squishy chair. When she sat down, she kind of disappeared into the chair. And she was afraid she was going to get stuck in all the soft cushions. And so she squirmed and she crawled her way out of the chair. Oh, I don't like that chair either. She decided that chair is far too soft. And so then she climbed into the small chair. And when she climbed into the small chair, she found that it was a good height off the ground. And it was a very comfortable chair, not too hard, not too soft. It was a very comfortable chair. And she, she sat in that chair for a little while. But Goldilocks was a little girl who did not like to sit still for very long. And so she, she kind of squirmed around in the chair a little bit while she was sitting and resting. And well, she squirmed so much and she had eaten so much porridge that all of a sudden there was a creak and a creak and a groan and a crash. And the little chair broke into pieces underneath Goldilocks. She had broken the chair. Now, she didn't really feel bad about that, for she felt sure that the people who owned the house would be kind enough to forgive her for breaking their chair. But after all of that activity and having eaten all of that porridge, her tummy was so full and she was so tired that she decided she needed a nap. And she decided that the people who owned this house would be kind enough to let her take a nap in one of their beds before she went home. I think that's a little bit, mm, not 
not a good idea if you haven't asked the people who own the house first. But Goldilocks decided that it was something that she was going to do. And so she went up the stairs and she found the bedroom. And in the bedroom, she found three beds. So she climbed into the biggest bed and she rolled around it a little bit, trying to get comfortable. And she decided it was just too hard and lumpy. And no, she didn't like that bed. So she rolled out and she climbed into the medium sized bed. And when she climbed into the medium sized bed, <clears throat> she had a little bit of difficulty rolling around to get comfortable for you see the medium sized bed was so soft and squishy that she sank down into it. And she decided she was afraid she was going to disappear in this bed. And so she rolled out of that one too. That bed was too soft. So she climbed into the small size bed. Now the small size bed was just the right size for her and it was not too hard and it was not too soft. It was just right. And Goldilocks yawned and rolled over and fell asleep. Now, Shortly after Goldilocks fell asleep, the three bears came back from their trip to the berry clearing and they were going to go and sit down and have their breakfast. But much to their surprise, when they got home, they found that the front door of their house, which they were very sure they had closed, was left open. Not a lot, just a little bit. Hmm. That's very odd, said Papa Bear. Why is the front door open? I know I closed it when we left. And when they opened the door, Mama Bear said, well, that's very odd. I just cleaned this floor yesterday and there are muddy footprints on it. How on earth did that happen? And Little Bear said, I don't care how it happened. I'm hungry. Can we have breakfast now? And so the three bears went into the kitchen. But when they got to the kitchen, they found that their spoons were not sitting beside their bowls where they had left them. The spoons were in their bowls. And Papa Bear looked at his bowl and he could see that someone had eaten some of his porridge. And he said, Mama, someone has been eating my porridge. And Mama Bear looked and she could see where someone had taken a spoonful of her porridge too. And she said, Papa, I think someone has been eating my porridge. <clears throat> then Baby Bear climbed up into his chair and he looked into his bowl and he said, Mama, Papa, somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up. I'm so hungry. But Mama and Papa were a little worried. Somebody had been in their house and had been eating their food. They needed to find out what else this person had done. And so they went and looked around the house. And when they went into the living room, they found Papa looked at his chair and he said, someone's been sitting in my chair. Look at it, it's all messed up. And Mama looked at her chair and she said, someone's been sitting in my chair. Look, the pillows are all a mess. And Baby Bear, who had followed Mama and Papa, he looked and he said, Oh no, someone's been sitting in my chair and they broke it all to pieces. Well, by this time, Mama and Papa were getting quite worried. They were afraid that there was a burglar in their house. And so they decided they needed to go check the whole house and they took baby bear with them and they went upstairs. And when they got upstairs, they went into the bedroom and Papa said, hmm, I think someone's been laying in my bed. Look, the covers are all messed up. And Mama said, well, I know someone's been laying in my bed. All the pillows are, are in, in, in a mess. And baby bear looked at his bed and he said, Mama, Papa, someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there. And all three of the bears gathered around and looked at Goldilocks laying in the bed. And Baby Bear, he was so fascinated by this, this, well, she wasn't a bear. 
and she had the strangest long golden fur and he reached out and he touched Goldilocks hair. Well, Goldilocks woke up because somebody was touching her head. And when she woke up, she looked up from the bed and there were three bears looking at her. And she screamed as loud as she could and she jumped out of the bed and she ran down the stairs and she ran out the door and down the path and all the way home. And never, ever, ever, ever again did Goldilocks ever go into somebody else's house without asking first. And that is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, you know, I've always wondered, what happened to poor Baby Bear? He didn't have any breakfast and his chair got broken. But the story never says. So I think that Mama and Papa shared their porridge with Baby Bear and that maybe Baby Bear and Papa spent the rest of the day putting Baby Bear's chair back together and fixing it. What do you think? Well, you think about that, and I hope you'll join us again next week on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. We'll have another story for you from somewhere around the world. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.